when you play a team that's not at your level, you can get away with a lot more, but there's not much room. Go! Oh. You, you just take this step here, that matters. You know, you guys are trying to be the best at something. You're trying to be number one in the entire United States. We begin our story in a place that you may find unlikely, but unlikely for its size, never for its strength. It lies atop a hill in Malibu, overlooking the Pacific Ocean, a longtime symbol for possibility. Possibility was what coach Adam Steinberg saw in Pepperdine when he interviewed for the job as head coach of Pepperdine Tennis in 2002. Well, you do it, but I feel like on the backhand we do go. You got the job here at Pepperdine. You told Pepperdine's athletic director, yeah. I can win you a national championship yeah. in four years. But talk yeah. about that confidence. How did you know you could do it? Oh, you sell anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did think I can do it. It's one of the reasons why I left the University of Alabama, because I felt that Pepperdine had everything necessary for a program to win a national championship here. I know they got, they got very close in the past um, with some amazing teams throughout the 80s and 90s, and I just felt with everything that we have here, facilities, the school, just um, the weather, the location for tennis, it, it's a perfect environment to recruit in. And I did say that on my interview. I said we will win it in four years. It all begins with an idea, a glimmer of hope that the impossible might be possible. I don't want guys hitting overheads on you guys. Get confident. You know, pump, you're looking at overhead. 1946, the first NCAA team championship was contested. Since that time, the leaderboard has been dominated by a small and select group of universities. To break in, and break the mold would be no small feat. I felt with the people that we brought in that first year that great things were going to come. You could just feel it. You know, they bought into our team aspect of college tennis that um, I really never saw before. And, and they loved Pepperdine. You know, we had a lot of international players that you never know. They, they don't really understand collegiate athletics. And they had so much pride in our university, in our team, in our program, in the history of our program and they wanted it all. And so, you know, those first two years were a struggle. We didn't do very well. Um, we were ranked in the 20s, we were climbing up, but then the third year, we, we were ranked number eight. We got to the quarterfinals, and I remember when we lost that quarterfinal match, a switch went on for me. I'm like, you know what? Next year's the year. The moment. The second best moment of my life. <laughs> First was probably when I got this job, but athletically, I mean, for me, it was incredible. Um, I remember the moment vividly every day. I think about it every day. Um, and I was so proud because the people that we had on the team that year, they deserved it. Mm -hmm. And they started with me. We had four seniors. They started when I first got here in 2002. And to see them end their senior year with a national championship, it was a dream for all of us. Let's see that ring. Not very many people have those. You know, for me, I, I, it's, I, I appreciate it much more now than I did then. You know, I came in and the team was so good and they were just, they were so mature and just kind of in their professional approach that I just kind of rode the wave, you know, so no pun intended, but I really did. I just, I, I learned a lot that year. I learned a lot from them, the guys on the team, but the most amazing part, I think, was that those guys listened to me from day one and I was some young coach that really they didn't have to listen to and, and I think that showed uh, kind of their character and I think that's why we, we did so well that year is that they uh, they were really open, open to learning uh, any way that they could, to getting better any way they could and, and they approached every, that, that, every match, every practice that season like that and I think that's why we were peaking in May the way we did. 
Uh, and it was just, it was an amazing experience for me just as a young person to see um, what can happen when so many guys uh, are willing not only to sacrifice, but when so many guys are willing to kind of, you know, really get and, and follow the same philosophy and, and live it. I was very tough on the team that fourth year, very. Um, they hated me for it in a lot of ways, but I think in the end they all believed that it was the best for them and, you know, because I did not want any regrets leaving that year with them all graduating. I felt we could win it and we ended up doing it, so it was worth it. For some, reaching their greatest goal would constitute the end of the quest. For others, it would be another beginning.